I would like to promote the country. You have beautiful country. You have amazing talents. Hello and welcome to Arab News. We are coming to you from our studios in Riyadh. And with us today is a fashion icon. We have Yulia Lobova. And thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me. And welcome to Saudi Arabia, first of all, um, and welcome to Arab News, and welcome to the show. Is this your first time visiting the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Thank you for inviting. Uh, this is my second time in uh, um, Saudi Arabia, and um, it's, it's wonderful because my first time it was in uh, Alula, and I was impressed by the concept to have a theater in the desert, it's like a, it's out of my mind. It's like a fairy tale, and from this moment, I start to think that I need to to, to shooting to do shooting here, like a fashion professional shoot. Okay, and uh, aside from Alula, you know, you've visited, uh, you know, you've been across the kingdom. So, what are your impressions so far? But land landscapes, people are very welcoming. Uh, landscape of Alula once again it's it was impressive um, people are very um, well educated speaks a uh, few languages perfectly English uh, French Arabian uh, I think very well educa uh, educated uh, people and nation okay and uh, you're married to a musician of Arab origins. Um, how did you meet? And uh, how do you describe um, Arabs uh, in terms of love and romance and as companions? I met my husband in a fashion show. I used to be the bride of the show. And he felt in love in me and he became to, the, uh, to backstage. And he said it to me, I'm in love with you. I, I wasn't sure, but he, he said the, the, the right thing to introduce him. But he was very charming. And I think um, at the same time, very elegant. And he didn't force me a lot. So I think maybe it's a touch of Arabian elegancy. So, and I think he, he was very welcoming, very charming. And, I, and after I fell in love with him too. So what was the right thing that he said? <laughs> he said, just come with me. You will not apologize. Oh, very interesting and very persuasive at the same time. Yes, and reminding and uh, there's intrigue, you know. Okay. So, he, you know, his, his comments just, you know, gave you some intrigue to get to know him a bit more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. So where else in the Arab world have you been and what are your favorite locations? Uh, since you've been here in, you know, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, what places would you love to do a photo shoot in? So, uh, first of all, uh, I visited uh, Lebanon, of course, because uh, my husband, he is Lebanese. Um, I visited um, Emirates and uh, Arabi Saudi. Okay. And, and Arabi Saudi, I would love to... To be honest, I didn't see that much uh, thing, and I would like to, to discover more. I would like to come back to Alula. I would like to see here... Um, uh, Al Daria, Daria uh, place. Mm -hmm. So basically, tomorrow we are going there and we are going to shooting there. Oh, so okay. I'm very happy because it will be open soon for the public, right? Yes. So um, why do you? So you liked Alula and and you're excited about uh, visiting Daria. Why would you wanna, let's say, do a photo shoot in in any of these locations? Like, well, what makes them unique as a place for a photo shoot? I think? would like promote the country. You have beautiful country. You have amazing talents. Uh, it will be wonderful if one day I can collaborate with a new designer, upcoming designer, younger designer for uh, Arabi Saudi, and we we'll do a photo shooting to together or a fashion show, so I can help with it. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> you know, from from what you've seen from you know the, the fashion industry here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and it's a uh, you know it's a new industry as well. What do you? Um, what caught your attention as as, as someone who's uh, a veteran in this uh, industry? Um, in used to, it, it used to be pretty party in in Europe, but here is all about um, abaya, and I think this this is a touch of Arabian woman who can wear um, a beautiful scarf, a beautiful abaya, and they have an elegancy and and, sh and chic, and they they wear it is in a chic way. 
uh, they use a lot of um, a lot of good accessories. Uh, Mackie, uh, they do accent of your makeup and your hair, and I really fell in love how how Arabian uh, woman dressed here. Okay. And uh, moving away from the fashion uh, sense of this conversation, then let's move to uh, French politics. So who do you think is going to win the next elections and who do you want to win? I don't know. I think Emmanuel Macron, he did a good uh, good job uh, this year, especially, especially how to um, how do the COVID time and uh, because it's, it was a very difficult moment for all, all of us and he did great job. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, French are known uh, for, um, you know, uh, having a great sense of style and sense of fashion and everything. So historically, which French uh, president did you find the most uh, good looking and uh, which first lady was the most elegant in your eyes? Um, I like George Pompidou. Uh, I like... Um... Emmanuel Macron, yeah, and Carla Bruni Sarkozy, uh, she's my icon. Basically, uh, I shot her uh, look for the cover of Elle magazine and met her personally. She's a legendary uh, woman. Okay. And uh, are you familiar with, with Arab news? Uh, we also have a French uh, supplement uh, that is dedicated to our uh, Arab news French uh, audience. Um, what would you want to say to our uh, audience that's uh, following Arab news and French and Arab news in general? Just a general message. Um, I think it's very important to follow the news in general. Yeah. And if we are here, basically today I asked uh, the newspaper in, the, yeah, in our hotel and it was very difficult to find the newspaper. I was like uh, intrigued as well, but uh, the news... Uh, it's, it's the first thing to know, and especially when you're in the place to Arabia or in Europe and you uh, in the States, you need to know what basically is, uh, is going on in the country. Uh, so we need to always to be related to what's uh, what's happening in in in, 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 in country when you travel. Yeah, and uh, you know um, you've you've also you know you've worked around the world. Uh, so I um, you've also worked in Tokyo, and then you know Arab News also has a. A supplement uh, there. Um, can you tell us about your experience working in Tokyo, Japan? Yeah, the first time it was as a model. Um, I used to travel with Hermes uh, house. We did a, a big uh, fashion show there. And my um, second time it was uh, I'm working for Numero uh, Tokyo. And it was during the COVID. It was such a comp uh, compli complicated moment. And I produced a few shootings uh, to them in Paris. So, and plus the covers, of course. Okay. And uh, during your time there, did you pick up any Japanese? <laughs> uh, but yes, of course, the, the team and production was uh, from Japan. Okay. And, uh... But a Japanese who live in, in, in Paris, because basically it wasn't possible to travel from Japan to, to Europe. Okay. And... Uh... Can you say something to us in, in Japanese that you uh, that you learned and you know like a word that you like? Not or... big thing, <laughs> arigato. <laughs> arigato, domo arigato. I think everyone knows it. Okay, and uh, what do you think about the uh, you know the fashion? You know, we were talking about the growing industry. Uh, that fashion is a growing industry here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So, what what can you tell us about from your impressions about the growing fashion industry in Saudi? And uh, what Saudi creations uh, would you like, would you choose to wear from what you've seen so far? I would like to uh, to wear abaya because it's a uh, for me it's a coat it's a traditional coat which can be wear very easily with uh, a suit inside with trousers with dress uh, it's it's very easy to become a fashion uh, fashion trend. Yeah, and so what characteristics about the abaya as a you know as an attire do you find um appealing to an international audience like you know if someone who has is, is if it's not part of their culture to wear an abaya what would they find appealing about it you think it's like the same like a for kimono kimono yeah. is a traditional dress and right now it's become very trendy 
-hmm. like you will see it all over the world in in fashion shows that people love to to wear kimono i think it can be the same exactly the same thing as a as a buyer so it just we need to we need to find the way how it's dressed okay and uh we we heard that you uh had a photo shoot for vogue holding an arab news uh, newspaper what can you tell us about that yeah we are preparing the the, the, the shooting for vogue russia and for me, it was exactly what I said this morning. I'm looking for a newspaper uh, in the hotel, yeah. and they give me Arab Arab news. I was like, oh my God, that's that's interesting because I'm I'm going to see you tonight, and it was really significant for me. And it's everything. I mean, it's a, it's a message. It's a message that uh, can be traduced very easily. Uh, Arabic news knows everything, everywhere. The, you are very famous. It's it's one of the best uh, of revolts. So that's why uh, I'm very happy to to be here. Uh, thank you very much, and we're happy to have you here. Um, you know, and and we hope that you uh, pick up the French uh, supplement for Arab news and and the Japanese one just to see the differences. I as would well. love to. <laughs> yes. So of of your years, uh, you know, with Louis Vuitton and uh, and Hermes. What were the most memorable moments that you've had during from from those times? Oh, the memory. There's a lot of there's a lot of memories because um, each fashion show it's uh, bring you to the new collection, to the new spirit, to the new people who work for, uh, on it, and every time is is different. But for me, it was the mm, the process like. A, all about the create the collection. It was very intimate uh, moment because I saw the creators, uh, the designers from inside, from the atelier, how they start to do, and how after a collection become, and it's the long way how they deal with it, how they find the fabrics, how they find uh, the seams, how they find the team for pro uh, for, for products. It's a it's a huge production. And all this, uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting and passionate. Okay. And, uh, you know, since <clears throat> you, you've been exposed to certain, you know, trends and styles along the years and uh, working in, uh, you know, in, in, in this industry, what um, advice or what style advice would you give to Saudi women? I like how they are. Actually, they are very confident in what they're wearing. Yesterday we've been in the restaurant. I saw beautiful Arabian woman, and they wore in abaya. They had the scarf, but they were so chic. Uh, I'm just looking for each details of them, and I was, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I want to be dressed like them, and I think they're looking on me, and and they want to be dressed like like me. It's all about the mix, you know. Mm -hmm. But I really like their style. So this is that that goes back to you know attention to detail you know like you 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 see things in fashion that you know you're a regular person wouldn't see. Mm -hmm. um, what touches basically would do, do they have that fast basically caught your attention like uh, maybe garments colors or colors it's it's important but it's it's you need to see how to suit it each person because sometimes you can wear red it's. Uh, but it doesn't suit too well. I always looking for the makeup, um, hair, manicure. Arabian women do it; it's perfectly. The jewelry we can't speak about it because it's all about uh, shine bright like a diamond here. Yeah. It's uh, it's impressive. It's it's all about accessorizing. Right. Okay. So like the the whole ensemble is is what catches your attention. The way how they put every. Uh, piece together and and the attention to detail. For me, so. I don't like when when you put slow all together. Uh, like the best thing uh, that you have, you put all together. I like when it's uh, like small touch, like a small bracelet or a ring or earrings. Um, I mean, you need to be very very careful careful with your style. Don't mix a lot, like all your best uh, things that you have at home. You don't don't put it all together. Uh, on you. Okay. And is there uh, any message you want to send to our audience uh, in Arab News before we wrap up? 
I'm very happy to be here. I would love to come back here and um, to do my shooting because it's very important to promote it, uh, the country. Okay. And uh, so tomorrow you're going to Duryea, right? Yes. And uh, what, what, what are you looking forward to about this uh, trip? And what would, uh, yeah, any, like, are you planning on doing any, any scouting for locations in the future? But for me, first of all, it's a cultural place. Mm -hmm. And I know the family of uh, Saudi is, is like the first residency of them, right? Yeah. Uh, and for me, it's interesting to see because it's, I just saw it in the pictures. It looks like a house is in the sand. I mean, I want to see it. It's more cl closer. And of course, for me, it will be uh, scouting because uh, in July or June, it will be opening for, for audience. For audience, yeah. Yes. And uh, we'll see. We hope to, to do the, the big story there. Okay, and uh, merci beaucoup, and thank you very much for uh, being with us on this interview, and uh, we hope you have a pleasant stay during your trip here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you.